problem is not going to improve. It's not. After seeing a spike in violent crime across the city, New Orleans police officers are now facing furloughs, and they're concerned the shortage of officers in their ranks will get worse. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Katie Moore. And I'm Cherie Skipson. Well, today, the Police Association of New Orleans sent an email to Mayor Cantrell and city leaders asking for furloughs to end for police officers. They say the department is struggling to retain officers, and now it's worse. Erica Ferrando has that story. We don't want to wait till it becomes catastrophic and then say, now we got to fix it. The New Orleans Police Department is facing a catastrophic staffing shortage heading into 2021, according to Captain Michael Glasser, president of the Police Association of New Orleans. I think if we don't address it now, we're going to be in a worse position than we were 10 years ago, and we haven't been able to climb out of that hole. NOPD faced a hiring freeze in 2010. At that time, Glasser says the department had 1,600 officers, now 1,200, and he worries that number is dropping. You have a lot of officers that are putting in applications in other departments. Next year, city budget calls for furloughs through 2021 for city employees. We were forced to cut $100 million from our budget. Pano sent a letter to Mayor Cantrell Thursday asking to stop furloughs for police officers. The New Orleans Fire Department's union has been outspoken about their frustrations too, tweeting multiple times a day engines out of service due to furloughs. Glasser worries these furloughs are a matter of public safety. As long as you see the crime numbers go up, I think that's evident. I think that's self-evident. Yes. But Mayor Cantrell says that hasn't been the case. However, data doesn't show at all uh, that services and the quality of services has been uh, downgraded. She says the city will reevaluate furloughs if possible. As the city of New Orleans uh, sees a revenue stream moving in the right direction and even uh, by way of a stimulus package, hopefully coming from the federal government, we will reevaluate our financial position as well as our ability to look at furloughs. If not, Glasser worries the NOPD shortage will be tough to recover from. The problem is not going to improve. It's not. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. Mayor Cantrell emphasized there would be no layoffs, but that this was a shared sacrifice for city employees. Now, there are other cities that have had to furlough city employees. Los Angeles announced last month they were furloughing employees for two days, one on November 3rd, which was Election Day, and the second in April. And back in September, New York City's mayor furloughed 495 staff members, including himself, for five days, yielding $860,000. And back in May, Dallas furloughed 472 municipal employees through July 31st across 10 departments. They did this without having to furlough any police officers or emergency workers.